spirit, soul, and body. Your spirit is the real you. You are a spirit. You don't have a spirit, you are one. And your spirit is connected to heaven. So your spirit is connected to heaven itself. The second part of you is your soul. That's your mind, your will, and your emotions. So that part of you is the in-between the two worlds. It's kind of like the oceans of heaven hitting the shores of earth. So the soulish part of you, that's the dude, he's the one that's got to get fixed by the Word of God. The third part of you is your physical body. Now many people, what happens is, is they think that only one part is important, the rest is, is not at all. But God wants to minister to the whole man. So here, the word of the Lord today is that you may be preserved blameless, what? Spirit, soul, and body. Solomon's temple, what do we know? It had an outer court, an inner court, holy of holies. So the outer court, anyone could go there. So anyone, Jew, Gentile, male, female, clean, unclean, didn't matter. Anyone could be in the outer court. Then the inner court, that was a part that had to be lit by man. So that was lit by candles. The inner court could only a select group of people go there a certain time of the year. But then there was what was called the Holy of Holies. Now the Holy of Holies had no natural light in it at all. It was lit by God himself. So the Bible says it, it, it had the Ark of the Covenant and in the Ark had various different things. And in it also was the glory of God. And the Ark itself, literally the glory of God began to light the entire Holy of Holies. But only one man could go in there once a year. And that always had to be the high priest. But now this is what the Spirit of God began to minister to me, is this. Is the outer court is a prophetic picture to you and I of natural man. Everybody has a physical body. A prophetic picture to you and I of God introducing us to the Father. What is that a prophetic picture of? Salvation. The moment they say, Jesus, forgive me, come into my heart, I give my life back to you, whatever wording you use. That moment, there's an introduction to the Father. No one can come to the Father unless the Spirit draws him, the Bible says. That is a prophetic picture to you and I of the outer court of Solomon's temple. The inner court is a prophetic picture of the uh, introduction of Jesus Christ, which is water baptism. The Bible says, go make disciples of all nations. And how does he say to make disciples? Baptizing them. So the second step of the Christian life is supposed to be water baptism. So water baptism introduces us to the Lord Jesus Christ. But lastly, you have that inner core, excuse me, that holy of holies place that only God himself lights. Come on. And that is a prophetic picture to you and I of the spirit of man is in the experience of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So see, there it is, outer court, inner court, holy of holies. The moment a child is born, the doctor says, you know, we need to feed this child three times a day. Then a teacher comes along and then guess what? The teacher says of the child, he needs to be educated. For what? The soulish part of him. All of a sudden a preacher comes along and he's saying, now this child needs to be introduced into the kingdom of God. In other words, this child needs to be spiritually fed every single day. Not once a week. I said every single day.